Hello again everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades. Once again, I am Ald Dragon, and we've completed the Temple of Tear in the mines, and uh, it's time to actually delve into the mines themselves. Um, this is a rather interesting area. It's very... it's sort of maze-like, I should say. Um, most of the pathways are pretty straightforward, so there's not going to be a whole lot of, you know, oh, which way did I go before, which way do I go now, kind of thing, you know, I mean, it's usually you just go in a straight path, every once in a while you'll have a left or a right, and you'll take that, and then it dead ends. So, there really aren't a whole lot of, you know, uh, you, you're not really all that likely to get lost. Um, although I suppose in some, maybe on some of the deeper levels, yeah, it looks like on some of the deeper levels, there is a little bit of a higher chance of that, but even so, it's still fairly straightforward. Um, as we delve deeper into the mines, we will encounter stronger and stronger creatures. Um, but, you know, it's still generally pretty bland. Uh, uh, I mean, not, not, not really very difficult. Um, <clears throat> really about the only way that it's going to be difficult is if um, you just keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, and, you know, exhaust your spells kind of thing. Uh, other than that, you should be okay. So, let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's get down to mine level one. You are on the wheel lift. Do you want to go to another level? Yes, I do. You are on the temple level. Move to which level? So you can see uh, surface, temple, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and bottom. Well, we'll start with the... Uh, well, Durf said we needed to get the um, pieces of the staff of Oswulf. Um, and I think he said that there is one on each level, so uh, through 8. Um, so let's go ahead and go to level 1. You have reached level 1. We are facing north. Um, so, you know what? The piece of the staff is not in that direction, but um, I'm not even sure where it is. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's go north. Since it's not this way, this is just going to be uh, you crawl over the bubble, rubble. Um, exploring the mine. So as you can see, that was a pretty straightforward thing. Uh, path. Uh, here we've got a branching point. Uh, let's go north. And you can see again um, <coughs> the your coordinates, um, and you cannot area view. So oh, that room is empty, and you really don't encounter too many wandering encounters. Um, of course, I say that, and I encounter some. Let's talk to him. Uh, who speaks? My paladin. You talk, and they decide to leave. Congratulations, you gain experience. Woohoo! So most of these rooms are going to be empty. Um, once I've explored everywhere on this level, or you know, given you an idea of what there are, uh, I'm going to stick with just the uh, encounters. Wow, that's a really tiny icon there. <clears throat> you see a group of monsters approaching. Let's talk. Monsters advance on you. They don't seem to understand you. They attack! Well, phooey. How many are there? Okay, four displacer pieces. That's not too bad. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I take care of the four of them. So, like I said, they're generally pretty pretty simple. Um, uh, so we're, we've come to a, a little room here. Let's. Uh, all right. Well, you find a freshly dug area in the wall and a pick on the ground. Do you wish to d dig? Sure, you start to dig, and dig, and dig, and dig, and you find treasure. Yay! I find a gem. Um, so yeah, that's one of the uh, encounters that you can uh, find is, um, you know, areas that you can, you can dig. And the map was wrong on exactly which point that was. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Let's flee. You run away. I don't want to fight spiders. I do not like spiders at all. So, there's another empty room. <clears throat> and that was something, I don't know what that said. I 
So, we've explored... Oh, let's flee. We've explored the uh, north branch, so let's go with the east branch. Once I get back down here, there we go. No, so let's go east. So here we've got two options, so let's go east again. Let's flee. Oh, you try to flee, but you cannot escape them. Well, phooey. I don't want to fight bats. Mobats. Oh no, there are mobats here. I do like their icon, though. Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, like I said, um, you know, I think on the uh, like two and uh, three, you'll encounter the same kinds of monsters, but there'll be um, there'll be more of them. I think that's how it works. And then um, something like four and five or something, or you know, you encounter uh, something some uh, some different monsters. Um, <clears throat> and again, with increasing numbers, and then, again, different monsters on the lowest levels kind of thing, so let's go ahead and attack, since I've encountered a, entered a monster's lair. They're centipedes. Let's see how many hit points they actually have. Fourteen. I kind of like these combat icons, too, although they're not as neat as the Mobats. And, of course, they're really, really easy. As you can see. And I found treasure! So that's one of the other things you'll find, is treasure when you encounter a monster lair. Um, a ring? Ooh, a ring. And a javelin. Uh, yes, I want to go back. Uh, share out the gems. And you get a lot of gems in here. A lot. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but you get a lot of gems in here. Did I mention that you get a lot of gems in here? So, yeah. Oh, you see a group of monsters. Uh, let's flee. You run away. I don't want to fight cockatrices. I do not like cockatrices. I do not like Medusa, either, and I know that there are some in here. Although at least Cockatrices are a little bit easier than Medusa. They actually have to hit you rather than gaze at you. You've entered a monster's lair. Oh, fooey Cockatrices. Uh, 23 hit points, and there's six of them. Oh. You know what? Let's go with a fireball. No, oh, stop it. Stop it. No, oh, stop moving! Um, I guess I'll go there. It doesn't look like I can hit the other one. Ooh, 49. Oh, good. Even if they save, they're still dead. Eh, not too bad, but again, if you fail a saving throw and stuff like that, you're generally screwed. 13, 13, so again, money, 18 gems, and items. Ooh, mage scrolls. So, that's the eastern branch. As you can see, I mean, it's, you know, especially if you have a map, uh, I'll flee, I don't want to fight, fight displacer beasts either. And uh, also, you can rest anywhere, but um, you're still likely to encounter enemies. So, you take a risk. 
Oh, I don't want to. All right, so let's go south this time. Oops. Okay, so here we have um, two ways that we can go. Um, so let's go west. I felt a gust of wind. Oh, you know what? I'm searching. I don't want to put the search on. You find a freshly dug area in the wall and a pick on the ground. Do you wish to dig? Yes. You start to dig and dig and dig and dig, and you find one gem. Uh, apparently, if you have a dwarf with you, um, you'll find a... Uh, uh, double the number of gems. Um, and the number of gems you might you find might be based on the level you're on, I'm not sure. But as you can see, uh, I don't want to fight... Oh! <clears throat> what are they? Giant spiders. At least they're only giant spiders, not phase spiders. I hate spiders. Oh, good, they missed. Um, yeah, if you have a map, it's probably not... I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna hit up all the gem spots anyway, but if you have the map and you can see where they are, it's probably not worth it. As you can see, that's an empty room. But I'm gonna do them just because I'm weird that way. Um, oh, that's right, okay. Yeah, and I guess you can hit them up uh, multiple times. Which I don't think I realize that. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, torch on the wall went out. Uh, so basically, you can, like I said, you can hit them up multiple times, and um, slowly get gems that way. Uh, it's probably not worth it. <laughs> Part of the wall collapses in, and a group of Umber Hulks surge through the opening. The monsters advance on you. They attack! Uh, and this is another one of those, uh, um... This is very much like the, uh... uh oh, jeez, they've got a lot of hit points. Um... Shoot. Uh, okay, um... I guess I'll use that. Um, but um, but um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, these, these, uh, um, Umber Hulks are not listed as actual room encounters on, uh, the map. They're, I mean, they are sort of, but they're not, like, room one, two, three, three kind of thing. They're, oh, jerk. There you go. And I find treasure. Oh, I got items. I got a shield. It's probably shield plus one. And two gems. Um, but you'll... So so there'll be Umber Hulks. You hear scraping in the distance uh, every once in a while, too. Uh, and they're not... They happen at fixed points rather than um, being random. Okay, so we have another choice. Let's go this way because there is nothing this way. I just want you to see... Uh, I have no idea what that said. Rubble, box your way. So yeah, um, it's nothing that way. Again, if you have the map, you'd know that there was nothing that way, and it would be pointless to go that way, which is why I went that way. I'm weird that way. Yay, ran away. And I'm getting close to the end of the time, so when we come back, I will head north on this branch. There's a couple things, and then uh, when we're done with that, we will go the other way and um, clear out level one of the mine. And from now on, I probably won't uh, go down the ways that are empty. 
Alright, I'll see you in the next episode.